Okay, let's talk about which of this equation has no solution. And there's one answer to this. And we're looking for the equation that has no solution, okay? And notice that everything on the right-hand side is equal to 5. And we do have the negative somewhere around, right? And also the cube root situations versus the square root situations. So what do you guys think? The answer to this is choice D. Choice D right here has no solution, and this is why, okay? So, here is how we do it. If you look at negative square root of x, it's equal to 5 from here. You always want to try to isolate the square root, okay? Right here, this is negative square root of x. So, let's divide both sides by negative 1, okay? You should always try to isolate the square roots. So, you cancel this, and then you get square root of x equals to 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. And right here, when you have a square root that's equal to a negative number, this right here has no solution. So here's the note for you guys. Once you have the square root isolated, that's important, isolated, it doesn't really matter what you have inside. If you make this equal to a negative number, then this equation has no solution, okay? So right here, you just have no solution for this. And because this equation has no solution, and that's the answer to this, okay? I will also show you guys how to solve the other equations real quick. So for example, for this right here, I can divide both sides by negative 1, and then I get negative, well, I get the cube root of x. That's equal to negative 5, and this is actually doable. We can just cube both sides, and you see x will be negative 5 to a third power is just negative 125. Okay, 125. Negative 125. And if you plug in this right here into the original equation, you actually end up with a nice answer. So here's the quick check for you guys. When x is equal to negative 125, plugging into the original equation, you will have negative cube root of negative 125. And does that equal to positive 5 on the right-hand side? Yes, it does. Because you see, this right here is negative, and this is doable. Cube root of negative 125 is negative 5. And is this equal to positive 5? Yes, negative negative 5 is equal to positive 5. Okay, so that's it for the first one. And for the second one, you can also do the same. Cube both sides. Okay, cancel this out, and you have negative x equals to 125 and now I can divide both sides by negative 1 and I can get x is equal to negative 125 as well and in fact yes they are the same answers okay and this will also work as well but I'll leave the check for you guys and lastly for the square root equation we have to square both sides earlier it was you cube both sides but now we square both sides cancel this out you get negative x equal to 5 squared is just 25, and then divided by negative 1, we have x equal to negative 25. And this is, in fact, an answer to this. Okay, in fact, this is the only answer. You can plug in this into the original x. So here's just a quick check for you guys. When you have x equal to negative 25 into the original equation, square root of negative, negative 25 like this, do we end up with 5? Well, inside here, you see, we are doing negative, negative 25, right? So negative times negative is positive. You get square root of positive 25 now. Do we get 5? Yes, we do. So all this has an answer, right? But this right here has no solution, and that's the answer to my original question. So that's it right here.